Oh hey, it's the 19th of January. Today was 78. And this is your Goes My Ghost. Woo! The skin side to rise on the dance floor. Special fun a perfect catch. Jen, I loved your tumble man. He was my favorite. And by favorite, I mean it was awesome. I never thought of making a snowman out of tumbleweeds. I mean, I never grew up in a place with tumbleweeds, so I guess I never thought about their roundness and their ability to create snowmen. Head, torso. But, what is the bottom part of a snowman called? Torso and torso too? It's the sequel. <laughs> Don't see it, it sucks. No, because all sequels suck. But no, not, well, usually. Moving on! Not a lot has happened this past week uh, over the weekend. I chillaxed, I slept in, I watched movies. I went with my friend Kelly and we got hamburgers from, or cheeseburgers, from a place called The Counter, which is amazing! Oh, such a cheeseburger. And we got cheeseburgers and we went to her house, met up with some other friends at her place, and we watched The King's Speech, which was super good, so you should go see the movie because I really liked it. Two thumbs up! And Friday I saw The Fighter. Which is also good. Not the movie I expected it to be, but still good. I mean, it was kind of unexpected. Anyway, also a good movie, two thumbs up. I also finished reading this book called A Girl Named Zippy, which is the memoir of this girl, Haven Kimmel, who wrote it. And it's the memoir of her growing up in her town of 300 people in Indiana. And it's hilarious. It was set in the 60s, I think, when she was growing up there. And it's hilarious, and so you should read it if you haven't. Because she writes really well, and everything is just funny and quirky and awesome. And I recognize a lot of stuff coming from a small town. Myself. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, one stop, like, totally understand that. Anyway, good book. Um, yeah, that's my book and movie recommendations. King's Speech is good, Fighter is good, and A Girl Named Zippy is good. It's all good. Anyway, um, Jan, you proposed a snowman challenge where you have to make a snowman not out of snow. Which I did, and which you'll see shortly. But side note, first. When I was home in Minnesota, and yes, there was two feet of snow when I landed in the plane, um, I didn't get to make a snowman because it wasn't the right kind of snow. Those of you who haven't grown up in snow might not realize that there are different types of snow. And the only kind of snow you can make snowman and have really good snow effects with is when the temperature is right around freezing because then the snow gets stickier and wetter. Because when I got home, it was cold, and so the snow was just powdery and fluffy, and you couldn't do much with it other than walk through it and make snow angels, which I did make snow angels. And then the only day that it was actually warm enough to make a snowman is actually 40 and raining, and so the snowman just would have melted pretty much instantly. And I didn't want to mess up the snow in the yard because I really hate when the grass goes through the snow, especially in December and especially when I'm home only for a week. So I tried to leave the snow as pristine as possible so that I couldn't see any grass in the yard because I hate that. Anyway, on to the challenge. I make a snowman. Hope you enjoy. And we dump out the marshmallows onto the parchment paper so that we can put them into a configuration so that they can cool and congeal. I hate making these. I've never done it before and I lost my accent because of it. I am no longer French. This boot isn't working! <laughs> I quit. I quit so much. So much quitting. My mom made this look so easy. Mom, help! I can't do this! Fix it! Fix it now! <laughs> she made this look so easy! You should look at this. Ah, oh, computer marshmallow! And here we have the marshmallows. With the cereal in it. Frick balls! Ugh! Oh. Stupid idea of the stupidness of the stupid. Stupid! What delicious! Stupid, 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 stupid. <sighs> <sighs> Note to self. Where's crispy bars? Well delicious! Or hell! 
to make. Okay, good enough. A snowman! Woo! That's all. I made a snowman. Challenge complete. Nom nom nom. <laughs> this is his torso. Delicious torso. See? Because here's a button. Button! Jen, thanks for the delicious challenge. Um. Sarah, I'll see you on Friday with your snow man. And, um, Jen, I'll see you Monday. So far, we've had a tumble man and a crispy man. I'm gonna go. Bye!